Overcoming the odds. Cardi A! What the hell? What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to After News Delight. Let's get to it, y'all, man. Uh, I want to start right at the top with Dominic Mysterio, bro. Um, Man, <laughs> what a main event, bro. Um, Dom, Dom looked really good in the ring, man. And this was one of the things that I was hoping for in this match was that Dom would look good in the ring with Wesley, man. Because Wesley has put on some classics since he's been champ. Uh, even before he was champ, but since he's been champ in particular, he's put on some classes. I haven't always uh, gone over his matches on the channel, but man, Wesley, he's had some, he's had some good ones. But let's get right to the point where Judgment Days, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor came out. Y'all already know Dom was with Dirty Dom was with Rhea, um, but I, for whatever reason. It wasn't in my mind that Priest and Balor was there, but I was like, you know, I always held it in my mind that, you know, Rhea was going to be the one to maybe do something for Dom to get the title, right? Um, but let's see how this went. So, what's called Dom with a spiral tap? And so, what set this up was Dom played possum. He took uh, Wesley's North American title, and he acted like he was going to quit. He was going to take it to the back. And really, what he was doing was he was just kind of setting... Wesley up and like I said you know Wes called down with the spiral tap and then that's when Finn Balor came out to distract the referee Damian Priest tried to hit Wes with the North American title that backfield though uh, so Wes uh, hit Priest with a cardiac hit and then this is see this is this is where the judgment day right now is so powerful is that they have the numbers man and they've been really ruling the day lately bro they've been looking powerful Lately, and it's because they got the numbers, man. And you always got to account for Rhea Ripley, bro. Um, last night, they got a huge win. Oh, no, no, they actually lost that one because Liv Morgan took out Rhea Ripley on Raw um, when they had um, when they went against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. If you don't take out Rhea in the match, you're going to be in trouble, bro, because he always going to play a part. So. Rhea Ripley ran in and hit West with the women's championship. And Dom basically had to hook him for the win. He was distracted. And Dom gets it done in about 10 minutes and a half to become the new NXT North American champion. So that was all she wrote for Wesley. Uh, Wesley drops the title to Dirty Dom out of all the challenges he's had. He drops the title to Dirty Dom. And it's got the whole WWE Universe in a just shocked that Dom got it done tonight. And let me tell you something. With Dom getting this title, it makes Judgment Day look so powerful right now. It looks, man, it makes, wow, bro. Wow. This was, man, this was, this was good. This was good, man. This was good. This this was good. This was good tonight, man. Um, and I saw, and like I said, I saw, always saw this as a possibility. It was just one of the things about it was was they going to be able to do this down at NXT. So all they need now, all Judgment Day needs now is for Finn Balor to go beat Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. That's the only thing that's missing from them, and they will have everything because Demi Priest still has the money in the bank. He could cash it in at any time. Uh, but they look. They look powerful right now. They look pretty powerful right now. So we're going to see what's going to happen with Seth uh, Rollins and Finn Balor at SummerSlam. But Dom got some in it. And he never even, you know, he they, they talked about it early in the match. He never been in NXT. So it's like he he skipped all of that. He already, first time in there, he, he gets one of the major titles. So they definitely going to be using that in, uh, in this situation, man. But... Judgment Day was in a bag, and I, 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 I oh, let me go over the poll. Let me go over the poll. I got, I got a suggestion that I was about to go over, but let me go over the poll real quick, um, because I did do a poll on the match, and let's see how y'all voted. Uh, four hundred thirty-seven votes. Nice turnout here. Thirty likes. Ooh, I didn't, bro. It was closer than this the last time I saw it, bro. Y'all was wrong, man. Wesley got seventy percent of the vote. Dirty Dom only got thirty percent. Although, although in my polls, anything close to 40% is pretty much 50-50 because my polls are usually lopsided. I will call this a semi-close poll, but um, 
this was I still thought Dirty Down would have got a little bit more closer to 40 percent um but man y'all was wrong about this one but I think everybody was it, it was a shocker man so uh, I, I won't expect anybody to get a shocker right you know what I mean so uh, but yeah, that is crazy guys. That is crazy. But what the last thing I was about to mention before I leave this off um, The way judgment day is rolling right now is the vision that I had when it came to Why I think core J needs a faction Core J needs a faction bro, and they need to start building it up as soon as possible. They need to start figuring out who they're gonna put in there Because she needs a faction bro um, I don't know if they're already planning on doing it, but she needs a faction just like Judgment Day, bro. Cause Judgment Day, look at the numbers, man. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it in the Core J video, which uh, when I go over her and Dana Brooke, uh, cause she watched a little piece from Dana Brooke uh, vin uh, vignette with her and uh, Kalani Jordan. But we'll talk about it then, though. But uh, going ahead to get this video like y'all hit the like button for me, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know y'all thoughts on Dirty Down picking up the victory. Um, but thank y'all for watching after news the light.